Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Are you someone who struggles with the ugly stage of your painting? Do you get overwhelming feelings of wanting to just give up? Then stay tuned because today I'm going to share with you the process of this acrylic painting and demonstrate just how long my ugly stage was and how I pushed past it. My name is Tanya from Tat and Taz Creates. Let's get started. I begin not with a blank canvas, but an abstract painting that I painted live on my Facebook page. If you use Facebook, you're welcome to come over and say hello. I begin with a Windsor & Newton Galleria Filbert size 4 brush, blocking in basic shapes. As you can see, I've already made an error in the positioning of where the leg is, but acrylic is very forgiving. It is very easy to paint over mistakes and redo. When blocking in the shapes, I vary the shades of brown that I'm using. This helps to differentiate between the smaller shapes and the larger shapes. In other words, where they begin and where they end. As you can see, I'm not being particularly precious at this stage. I'm not being particularly fine in my detail. In fact, I would argue that there's no detail at all. Just hints of the lights, the darks and the various colours within the coat of the stag. Let's pause here just for a second and reflect. At this stage, it's nowhere close to how it looks in the finished painting. The overall shape of the stag looks wrong, it looks dumpy and the legs don't even look like it's part of the stag. This is a stage of our painting we need to trust in our own abilities. Let's continue on. With each brush stroke, I am adding and taking away from both the lights and the darks, as well as continually checking my measurements using my brush. I am making small adjustments to the overall shape by using light on top of the dark so that I can see the outside edge and in some areas adding back in the background to shrink the overall size and shape of the stag. We are now halfway through the video and if you hadn't seen the finished painting you would be forgiven for believing that this just wasn't going to be a very good painting at all. And believe you me, I experienced self-doubt at this point too. This video is not about telling you to not experience self-doubt because, let's face it, we're all human and we all have our doubts. That is actually perfectly normal. The purpose of me sharing this process and my thoughts and hints and tips about this process is about telling you how normal it is and showing you how normal it is to have these doubts. It's actually how we're wired. There is a very good book that I would recommend you read called The Happiness Hypothesis and it is by Jonathan Hyatt. That's H-A-I-D-T. If I've not pronounced that correctly, my apologies. I would very much recommend you read this book because it is my belief that getting the most out of being creative is not just about learning techniques on how to draw or to paint, but it's also about learning how we think to be able to push past our fear response which is there really to protect us but more often than not it actually stops us from moving forward and enjoying the things that we would like to be able to enjoy such as painting. So let's bring our attention back to the painting. I would suggest that it's starting to look a little bit more like a stag Perhaps because I've added in the antlers, but I think also because there's a little bit more definition within the face because of the shadows and the lights and he's, his chest is starting to look like it's puffed out rather than just a rather strange shape. 
as well as beginning to see the evidence that his head is twisted round rather than just stuck on in that position. Now to give you an idea of time, this video has been sped up 32 times its normal rate. This means that my ugly stage lasted not just a couple of minutes, but at least a good hour or two before I got past the danger zone of the possibility of wanting to give up. As we rapidly come to the end of this video, I do hope that it has helped you in some way to either gain or to regain your faith in your own abilities. That it has successfully demonstrated we all have ugly stages and we all have doubts. That we can ignore and push past these doubts and end up with a finished piece of art that we are proud of. And I'm certainly proud of this one. Thank you very much for sticking with me to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell for future videos. See you all again soon. Bye for now.